Oost. How to increase flexibility for higher kicks, control, balance, precision, and movement. So I've been asked, you know, how do I kick so high? You know, how I jump so high to execute those kicks? And also a lot of people are having problems with stretching. You know, they say that they have been stretching for months and they still cannot do a split or kick as high. So I'm going to take you through some stretching and split routines that I do. Remember, um, you have to be patient when it comes to, you know, trying to gain a split, especially a full range of motion split. It's not going to come overnight. It also depends on the person also, you know, how much work you put in, you know, how much dedication you put into it, you know, also mentally, in your mind, you know, that's the most important tool, you know, it's all in the mind, man, if you put your mind to it, you'll be able to do it and put the work in also. So, as I said before, it's flexibility, be able to do the splits, you know, it can help you with a lot of different things from your balance, coordination, your precision in your striking, your formation, your control of your technique when you're kicking. So all that is very important and to flexibility, being able to do a split and have different range in doing the splits. That's very important too. You know, you have middle, you have straddle, you have front. Each different range of motion will work different muscle groups and will enable you to throw your kicks from different angles which will help you to gain that control in your kicking the balance coordination and the precision in your striking because once you have control you're gonna have precision you're gonna have accuracy in where you're striking so flexibility doing the splits is very important also training other parts of the body will help you to gain the flexibility incorporate different exercises like squats lunges jump rope running and also working your core working your abs will help you to gain the splits so it's not just doing a split and that's all you're doing you have to work different muscle groups also and this will help you to gain the splits quicker right so it doesn't come overnight you got to put the work in so I'm gonna just go through some little routines I do some stretches um, I'm not gonna include everything I do but just some of the basic and advanced splits and stretches that I do remember before doing any exercising or any full range of splits you always want to warm up the body first get those muscles nice and warm you can do this by jogging jump rope or some slow yoga movements, downward dog, upward dog, you know, just to get those muscles nice and warm, get a sweat going. I'm just demonstrating some kicks here, some control in the kicking and flexibility at the same time with precision in my striking. See, bam, 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 it's all control, balance, coordination, flexibility there also, be able to kick high. Here, jump spinning kick, that's all flexibility too, as well as balance here, a double spinning back kick, bam, control and a jump flying kick. That's all control, coordination, and balance. Now I'm gonna go through some splits and stretches that I do, which help me to gain those kicks you just saw, and flexibility and control and balance. This is just a half stretch here. That back leg is folding in and my heel touching my butt. You wanna go down as far as you can and try to touch your head to your knee. If you can't, just go as far as you can. I like to jump back and forward like this because it prepares me to go into the real full range of splits. So this will loosen up my hips a little more, dropping back and forward. This stretch here works the hips, works your hamstring, and it works the abductors. So it's like a half split you're doing here, which will prepare you to go into the straddle or middle splits. This is the next stretch that I love to do. You're gonna go into a little squat and just slide that leg down and keep that grounded leg flat. You don't wanna be in your toes. You wanna use your hands just to start out and just go from side to side and you wanna to try to have your butt touch the ground. Now you're gonna put your hands together and just rock from side to side. You wanna stay flat on your foot. You don't want to be on your toes when you're going from side to side. This is excellent. This will prepare you to go into those full range of splits. You're stretching your hips here, your hamstring. You're also working your knees and you're also building strength in your legs. You're building up those thighs. Now what you see me doing here, I'm just rocking side to side real fast, springing back up excellent stretch to prepare you for the splits and also your balance now i'm going to get into a straddle split this is how i get into my straddle split 
you're going to have your toes pointing out and your heels facing each other, pushing your hips going forward. And you're going to slide down into that straddle split. If you can't go all the way down, you can go into a V and just work from side to side. This is a split, a straddle split. So you're just going to take your time and just relax in this position, kind of move back and forward, side to side. Now I'm going to transition into what they call a modified middle split. The left leg is a straddle and the right leg is a middle. And you're going to work yourself down slowly. The knees on the right is locked out. The left leg, the knees locked out. You're just going to work yourself going forward down. Try to get your head to your knees. Go as far as you can. The knees has to be locked out. This is a split that I came up with. I just call it a modified middle split. Now I'm going to go to my right side same exact thing you want to keep your knees straight you don't want to have those knees bent Just slide down these are a little bit more advanced splits but as i said these are working different range of motion as you see now you know i had the straddle and i'm going to the modified so these are working different range of motion and like i mentioned in return doing different splits in different range of motion will help you to kick in any angle you want any direction you want to land that kick you will be able to now i'm going to get into a middle split so i'm going to pop up position myself and slide straight down with my knees straight you want to have your feet facing outwards your toes facing outwards and i'm going to pull myself forward to get a little extra stretch it is excellent for stretching out your abductors you're going to feel it in your hamstring you're going to feel it in your hips if you cannot go all the way down like this, just go halfway and sit in your butt into a straddle and work from there. Now I'm going to go into a front split. You will see the split a lot in gymnastic, dance and yoga. So you're going to slide down in your knees and keep that back leg, toes pointing down. And you want to have that back leg, hips facing forward. Knees down, toes pointing flat down and slide all the way down. You want to have your hips facing forward, knees flat to the floor. And you want to stretch forward into that split now i'm just going to come up and just face position standing position and just kind of lean forward and stretch out those hamstrings rock from side to side and that's it you know that's some of the stretches and splits that i do to maintain my flexibility so i can kick higher my balance my control and also my position in my striking be able to land my kicks in any direction i want so as i said before you always want to do your splits in different range of motion different range of motion is going to give you different angles in your kicks you're working different muscle groups so if you're only going to do only straddle and that's it you're going to be kicking in a different range only one particular range now if you do middle straddle front modified then you're going to be able to cover all ranges of your kicks and your movement you see so being flexible is very important very very important and i mentioned the mind the brain once you can see it in your mind in your brain you can envision it then you'll be able to do it if you understand that once you can envision it in your head then you can bring it to reality you know in real time so that's important so the mind is the tool that's the strongest weapon you have without the mind you have no punch no kick no technique no movement nothing is going to exist if you don't have the mind so that's the key most important thing also is what you put into your body your lifestyle what you're eating that's actually more important than the workout itself once you start fueling your body correctly the workout will be easy and everything will flow into place the mind and the body so fueling the body correctly will fuel the mind and in return the mind will fuel the body